Welcome my friends. So Adobe just released an update to Lightroom Classic 11.4. Another thing that got updated there was a GPU support, GPU acceleration in exporting photos as well as some other things. So what I want to know is how much does a GPU acceleration work? For example, if we just use an iGPU from like Intel, you know, 12th gen CPU, and then what if we add like an RTX 3080 to it? What's going to be the difference? Are we going to see a massive improvement in performance? Well, let's have a look. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. By the way, the reason this fan is here is because I'm absolutely flipping boiling in here. There's about 30 plus degrees here up in the loft i've got fans on the other fan is from my editor there so i needed a fan as well if you we look at the uh, this update here this is june 14th when this got released here and what can the gpu do then in terms of you know acceleration a compatible graphics processor can speed up tasks displaying and adjusting images in develop mode the library mode grids view and loop view in film strip features like select object select sky enhanced detail Details are also accelerated by the GPU. Using a compatible GPU can improve significant speed improvements on high resolution displays and 4K and 5K uh, monitors. So what are some of the minimum requirements for the GPU? What GPU can you use? They're saying quite, quite low actually. They're saying on Windows it can be any Windows and then GPU that supports DirectX 12 and an Intel GPU, Skylight GPU or later, you know, that's supported. VRAM, the minimum is two gigabytes of uh, GPU VRAM or recommended is four gigabytes of GPU VRAM or more for 4K displays and greater, which is gonna be, you know, okay, probably any GPU you're gonna get is gonna have more than four gigabytes of VRAM, you know. The latest dedicated all GPUs from AMD and Nvidia have like at least eight gigabytes or even more. System requirements to use GPU for export VRAM, two gigabytes and then eight gigabytes of dedicated GPU RAM or 16 gigabytes of shared memory. So we have plenty over here, we have 30, two gigabytes dedicated memory. Half of this is shared with GPU as well. So we're over the recommended recommendations here as well. So how do you know if your GPU is accelerating on Lightroom Classic? For example, I've got the Lightroom Classic open over here and I don't have a dedicated graphics card. So I'm running this only on the iGPU there. As you can see, the G only GPU I have is the UHD 770, which is the integrated graphics on the 12900K inside this system. And if you go to edit and then preferences, and then under the performance tab over here you can see use graphics processor when auto setting is selected you don't really see if it's you know gonna actually use it if you go custom you can literally tick it on and here at the moment with the usd 770 limited graphics acceleration is enabled so the only thing i can't do at the moment is use the gpu for export so any of the exports that i'm doing with all the photo exports i'm not gonna get the support for that but the image processing, like on the development tab and so on, it should accelerate it through this iGPU as well. I have actually run this benchmark already with the dedicated graphics card, which is this ASUS RTX 3080 Strix, and this is the 10 gigabyte version, but this has the BIOS of 370 watts, which is a lot more than, you know, yeah. the usual reference model, which is 320. So it's very, very good. Like when it gets to 3080s, this is one of the best 3080s that's out there. And then, without this just the iGPU inside there so let's have a look at the performance differences then so on the left side you can see uh, my uh, actual results what I've done here this is with the RTX 3080 and the UHD as you can see everything is the same here I've got some of these results so I did three tests with the dedicated graphics card and three tests without the dedicated graphics card on Lightroom so the Puget Paints system actually uses quite a lot of these things and when looking at the active and 
passive scores, we can easily see how the graphics card performs in all of them. I could just do an export test, but that doesn't, you know, test all of the aspects of the program. The huge bench benchmarks are one of the best ones because, first of all, the active score tests, like working on uh, the development tab, you know, putting effects on and working with this and testing, and then, you know, the GPU can accelerate that. Also, the passive score is where we're doing, you know, exports or putting images together and so on. And that can also be accelerated now with the graphics card on the dedicated graphics card. So this is really good benchmark to really see, you know, how if the GPU is going to actually give you a better performance. First of all, if we've got just the iGPU, then the average is 1410 points uh, overall score. The active score is 92.4 and passive score is 189.6. Now, if we go to the uh, dedicated GPU, then our score is 1530 on the overall score active score is 106.8 and then passive score is 199.3 so they are definitely better on the dedicated graphics card but what i want to know is how much better so what we're going to do is we're going to put this igpu as the baseline of our you know benchmark so that's going to be 100 percent and then we're going to calculate how much faster is it with the dedicated graphics card you know overall score so the overall score is actually eight percent faster now on this uh, with the dedicated graphics card which is quite a measurable improvement actually 8.5 percent to be precise in terms of active score we're about 15.5 percent faster and in terms of passive score we're about five percent faster now i do want to say that if we're gonna get a 1390 for example the best graphics card we're gonna get for this system then we might stretch a little bit extra out there but this is basically the worst case scenario like the most improvement you're going to get in this program because the igpu that's like the lowest graphics card basically what you can get with any you know system and then to put like an absolutely ridiculous rtx 3080 in there that's gonna improve you know maximum of that but bear in mind i bet you this much from about 3060 to 3080 there's going to be not that much of a difference because even the 3050 doing all of these things will be very 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 powerful because even the 3050 is like so many times more powerful than the iGPU in there. So then, what is the conclusion of this? Does the GPU actually accelerate your, you know, photo editing in Lightroom Classic? Yes, absolutely it does. And uh, it's good to see that finally it can be used, but I think the improvement can go so much further than that. There should be so much more support for all of the GPU. You know, if you have a 3080, the VRAM should be used and all of these things can sh should accelerate the uh, Lightroom Classic performance so much more than this we should see more than just eight percent improvement when getting a 3080 is it worth it for a creator well it's very hard to say i'd say if you got a 3050 and from 3050 to 3080 to see maybe a few percent increase it's kind of hard to justify as long as you have a graphics card in your system that has about eight gigabytes of vram or more you're gonna be fine running your 4k screens and then getting the acceleration of Lightroom Classic as well. And even if you are without the graphics card and just using the iGPU inside your system, you're still gonna get, you know, very good performance. And when adding the graphics card, you can get, you know, you know, close to 10% improvement when adding the graphics card, but it's better than nothing, right? And for creators who are doing this every single day, maybe that 10% is worth it. And then maybe worth getting a 3080, for example, or something like that. Then go check it out in the description below. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Likes if you enjoyed it. Subs if you'd like to see more. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.